Hey everyone, this is David Brown from Lyco Birds, and I'm here with the Swarovski NL 8x42 binoculars. And I've been testing these out for a few minutes and thought I would give my thoughts about them. My standard binoculars that I use are Swarovski 8x32 ELs, which I use as a professional hawk counter. And someone came up to the hawk watch with this pair of NLs, so I thought I would give my thoughts. The first thing you notice when you look through them is how big the field of view is. It's a gigantic field of view. I wear glasses, so I put the, the eye cups out to the first notch, and I can't see the edge, top, bottom, left, or right. It just feels like you can see as far as, as wide as your eye is. So a much larger field of view. Another thing that really stands out is the grip. It's kind of an ergonomic shape and it feels thin right here. You can kind of see where my finger is. It's almost flattened. And personally to me, it feels a little thin because I'm used to the rounder binoculars. Um, but I think if I use them, I would have no problems getting used to them. Uh, this is, of course is a flagship model, high-end binoculars, and it's just as sharp as you would expect any Swarovski to be. It's really a treat to look through these. So if you're looking for a new pair of binoculars and you have the money to spend, definitely take a look at the Swarovski NL series. Here is the Swarovski website. We see that the name of the series is NL Pure, and it comes in three different variants. All three have 42 millimeter objective lenses, and you can get it in 8 power, 10 power, or 12 power. The ones I tested were the 8 power, which retail for about $3,300. If we take a look at some photos of the NL, it's easy to distinguish from the EL series because the NL does not have any connection here at the front of the barrels like the EL series does. If I show the EL42s, they're connected at the front. Also, the NLs have a different focus mechanism where we have the focus wheel in the front and then behind it, we have the diopter adjustment and then another piece. If we compare that to the EL series, the focus wheel was the thing that's farthest back. And to adjust the diopter, you pull out the focus wheel, twist it to adjust it, and then push it back in. This side view of the NL shows how the barrels get thinner in the middle, which is meant to make it easier to grip. It felt a little bit strange to me because I'm used to the EL series, which is more of a consistent diameter, but I would recommend trying these out yourself and see how it feels in your hand. In this photo, we see the optional forehead rest for the NL, which is currently selling for about $140. You might be trying to choose between the EL 8.5x42 versus the new NL 8x42. The NL is going to cost you about $900 more. Both pairs weigh about the same. I think you're going to notice two main differences when you pick up the NLs. The first one is that it has that ergonomic shape where it's thinner in the middle of the barrels. It just has a different feel to the hand. Try it out and see if you like it. The other thing you're going to notice is the NL has a wider field of view. The EL already has a good field of view, but the NL just takes that one step wider. There's no doubt that the Swarovski NLs are impressive binoculars, but you'll have to decide if they're enough of an upgrade from the EL series to justify the increased cost. But I definitely recommend that you give them a try if you have the opportunity. This is David Brown. Thanks for watching.